everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you. I hope all is well with everyone. And thank you so much for coming back to see what I'm up to. <laughs> and what I'm up to today is a pretty big haul. I've got a good many things to share with you from a good many stores. So uh, I'm not sure whether where this video is going to fall in the queue. Uh, Monday you saw the lantern centerpiece for the dining room and I'm telling you the truth I'm taping this on Sunday so for me that'll be tomorrow and then I'm gonna try to do tape my home tour uh, later this afternoon around the house here on the inside because as y'all know I'm finished decorating on the inside so I want to share my home tour my indoor home tour with you before I really before I share this haul with you because I'll probably do this one after my home tour so But let's get started on this haul and I'm going to start with uh, Joanne's remember last week when I did my uh, Answer your questions card chit chat. I love doing that by the way and before I go on here Let me just say if you guys have questions I think I've got three right now as I said this is Sunday right now. I've got three questions in my queue uh, That I'm you know adding to and when I get to ten I've made myself a promise when I get to ten that I will stop and uh, You know do a standalone chit chat answer your questions video so if you have any more questions for me be sure to ask me in the comments and I will add them to you know my queue and when I get to 10 you know whenever that is whether that's this week or next week or whenever then I will go ahead and tape a you know answer your questions that was so much fun I love doing that and that was something new for all of us so that was that was fun so but anyway I had run into Joann's last week when I was doing that I forgot my hair done and these are the three deco mesh uh, rolls that I got from there. And one of these, one of these next two, are the ones that I'm going to use for the front porch, or both of these. I'm not sure for the front or front porch for the front light post. I thought I would do two rows of this, and maybe one roll of this, or even two and two, on a 16-inch work wreath, and. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I also, so these are the two of the three. And then this is the third one, which I think is really cool looking. And I'm not sure what I would do with it or how, you know, what season I would decorate with, but I thought it was really pretty. So who knows what I'll end up doing with this. And you all might not see this for years. I have no idea, but I had to get it because it was a really good price. These were like 90% off. It was like, 90% off of $15, so I've paid pennies for this, you know? So you can't beat that. When you see it, grab it up, you know? So that's, those are the three I got from AC, I mean, excuse me, from Joann's. And I also picked up, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little frustrated. I cannot find Valentine's ribbon online, any that I really like, or in the stores that, you know, are giving me much of a, a of a selection. I'm a little frustrated, um, but I did find this in Joann's and I'm not finding a lot of like two and a half inch. Like, what is the deal? Everybody dropped the ball on Valentine's Day or something. I don't know. And I'm talking every store. I've got, I, I've, from this haul, I've got Joann's, I've got AC Moore, I've got uh, Michael's, and I've got the Christmas tree shop store and that. Everything but Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby doesn't have hardly a lick. Of they really really don't have much at least not that I've seen yet uh, for Valentine's Day But anyway, this is what I found so I will be incorporating this somewhere somehow in my decor Okay, so that's Joann's and then skip to Today and Chris and I were out for lunch uh, We just went to Arby's today big deal and uh, we stopped let's see first place we stopped was Michael's because again, I'm looking for ribbon. I'm looking for what ribbon. What I found for Michael's was these, which would be cute with the with the red and white and just white, you know, deco mesh. I'd like to make funky bows though, you know, I think that would be really cute. And then I got some, uh, I got two of these. 
And then I got two of these. And this is kind of sheer, but it has hearts on it. So I got two of those. So that could make a funky bow just with the two ribbons, you know. Uh, or, and I could incorporate like a plain white or a plain red. You know, that would be cute. So I could do that. Uh, what else did I get from Michaels? I got some of this burlap and heart. Now, I also got picked up two containers of these hearts. They're, uh, honey, do you remember the Valentine's Day, how much it was off at Michael's? <coughs> Sam says it was either 30 or 40 percent <coughs> off. That was Sam. I thought it was Chris. It was Sam. Anyway, uh, <coughs> It was either 30 or 40% off, and I can't remember you guys. Uh, but I did pick up two little containers. These are ornaments, little heart ornaments. So I did pick up two containers. The other one's way over there, and I can't reach it. I promise you I picked up two. <laughs> so I picked up those. I had gotten these last week. I, was, I can't remember whether I showed these to you, but I did pick up these. So I thought these were cute, too. So these are kind of more... I'm drinking a cup of tea because I'll be honest with you guys, I am not, I, my stomach is not wanting to, to really cooperate too much today. Um, could be the Arby's, I don't think so though. I think I might have a touch of something. So I know TMI, TMI, but I'm real. I'm drinking a cup of hot tea, hoping that it's gonna settle things down a little bit. I got too much to do, I don't have time to be sick, you know? For goodness sakes. So I'm going to sip on this tea, if y'all don't mind me sipping on this tea while I'm doing this haul. Okay, Michaels. I picked up three. Oh, come here. Grace is here at my feet. Sorry. <laughs> the dogs are ever-present one way or the other, aren't they? I got three of these peonies. Aren't they pretty? So all right, that is all. No, it's not. I got the Michaels. It's not. I did also pick up. They have their flowers for their pretty spring flowers on sale. There's the other hydrangea. And I have some more red berries. So I just picked up a couple of tufts of white and then some of kind of a really pretty like a lavender and pink I think in Easter they'd be pretty to incorporate in with my Easter stuff so I got those and that is all I got from oh it isn't one more thing from Michaels I did pick up this little hugs and kisses sign but anyway, let's move on over to AC Moore. And that's where I did pick up this. That's where I got this. That's where I got this sign was at AC Moore. So, and I also got this for my mailbox. Bling, bling, bling. They're going to know it's Valentine's Day around this house. <laughs> and that's all I got from AC Moore because I went in there looking for ribbon and couldn't find any. So, anyway, that's what I got from AC Moore. Any. None. No Valentine's ribbon in our AC more. Not even, uh, they hardly had any ribbon at all. They had some old Christmas ribbon and then their regular ribbon, like their everyday ribbon, it was like pitiful. So I was like, well, what's, what happened to AC more? I've been pretty happy with AC more this year. Two through, you know, through fall and through Christmas, they've had some awesome uh, and surprisingly wonderful looking ribbon. But they dropped the ball with Valentine's Day, in my opinion. <laughs> so, came out of AC Moore and I was, I was frustrated. And I said, all right, one more stop and we will... I'm fibbing. Hang on. I've got one more thing. i got to back up to Michael's for a second. I forgot they have all their Christmas on, like 90% off. So, we did pick up some Christmas cards. You know, Chris said, could he actually found these, Chris did. He said, could you use these? I said, oh, yeah. You can use, you know, anytime you want to just, you know, I don't, to tell you the truth, I don't write Christmas cards anymore. So I used to, but I don't write them anymore. And, uh, but I do give one to my hairdresser and my nail lady and doctor, vet, whatever, you know. 
So I always like to have a little stash of Christmas cards. So there you go. Some small ornament hooks, just in silver. And then I got this. And it's supposed to light up. I don't know. But just a little house. Check out Santa's feet going down into the chimney there. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So picked up those few things, Christmassy things that were on deep sale. So then again, then we went to AC more, picked up those couple of things, and then we came out of there and I said, all right, I want to go over to Ann that just to see. Sometimes they for fall they had a bunch of ribbon. Christmas they didn't have so much, but for fall they did. I thought, well, maybe they'll have something. They didn't have anything for Valentine's Day. They had some cute Valentine's Day like signs and you know decor, that kind of thing. But they didn't have any ribbon. They didn't have any like craft ribbon or anything. So, but I did pick up a couple of things. Well, they did have these. Let me show you these little spring lights, little hearts. So I did pick up these four out in my red wagon out on the front porch, so they'll go in there. And these were like $5, yeah, $4.99. So I picked up just one set of these. I thought they were cute. So I'll use those out there. And then, let's see. I've had the same, you can kind of see them right there, right there in the corner. I've got a couple of Crocs that sit on the bottom shelf of my hutch over there. And they have big blue stars on them. And they're not bad, they're cute. But I, I usually am always trying to find something just to stick in them, you know, for holidays. So I thought, I'd rather have something else for over there. And I just happened, they had tons of Crocs in their little country department in our Christmas tree shop. So I thought, oh, well, these are really super cute. I love these. And they have like the burgundy, like I decorate with more burgundy than anything else. So I picked myself up two of these coffee pots, I guess you call them. One for each corner of my hutch over there. And I thought they were really cute. They have a little glass. star being held on by jute twine and they have a pretty little you know stencilly kind of etched in kind of design so I got two one for either corner let me see if I can pick it up here and I thought them being sitting on the black they would really be set off nicely so I got two the same with lids I thought, oh, I love these. And if I wanted to put something in them, I could stash the lid and put something in them. They're good and heavy, too. They're not light things. So I thought, I really like these. I got those. And then I needed, I wanted to change out the uh, candles and the sconches on either side of my mirror in the dining room. And I just wanted to put a creamy white candle in there. And these were French vanilla or what's this? No, yeah, vanilla bean. And they were four dollars a piece. So I got two of those. And then the last things I got were these cutie patooties. And out of their Christmas department. And I just thought these were really cute. And I thought they would be really pretty in my you know living room and dining room where I have all the lighter and airier colors, little, two little metal snowmen. Also, this one would look really cute on a wreath if I decided I wanted to do a wreath and then above something and have this sitting down below on a table or something, wouldn't that be cute? Anyway, so I bought two and they were originally $15 and it was deep sale. 75, 85% off out of there, so. Just a few bucks for each one of those, so I thought that was pretty good. And I'm looking around here, and I think that is everything. Let me make sure. You see more Michaels. Yep, that's everything. <laughs> that's a pretty good haul. I've been collecting stuff. I've been looking. You know, the, the problem is, is I go in looking for ribbon, and I've ended up coming out with something else. So, but. Um, Hey everyone, Arlene here. I'm back. <laughs> yep, I'm dressed completely differently. 
Yep, my hair is up. And I'm coming back to you with some more of a haul. I believe, I haven't looked back on it yet, but I believe I said that I was posting, or I was, I believe I recorded that, what you just saw on Sunday. It is now Tuesday, and I have a few more things that here that I want to show you and talk with you about. So I thought I would just add it to that video since I don't think that one was very long. So I thought I would go ahead and <laughs> add to, and if I go 45 minutes, uh, it seems like you guys like it when I go a little over 30 anyway. So I think I'm gonna, and you don't care how long I go. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk with you about a few things here today. And uh, one thing is I did go to my PO box and I've gotten some mail and I've gotten three letters total, and I don't wanna say anybody's name right yet because I'm not sure what the etiquette is as far as this goes, and I'm not sure that they want their names given. But ladies, all three of you, thank you so much. I enjoyed all three of your letters. I enjoyed the newspaper clipping that you sent me, that one, you know who you are. Thank you so much, and I so much appreciate it. So I need to figure out exactly, like I say, I don't want to give out their names, uh, but I did want to acknowledge that I did get, I've gotten three letters, and they've all been very positive and very sweet and have touched, I'm going to cry, <laughs> dang on it. have touched my heart and I really, really appreciate them. So thank you. I'm not gonna ugly cry. <sighs> so anyway, I've had a, a, a bit of a um, horrendous couple of days here. I've not been feeling my best. I had mentioned my stomach was a little off on Sunday and it is still a little off today. So <clears throat> better, better, much better, but still not, you know, it takes that uh, to get back to normal so uh, I'm, I'm here with my tea again the same cup <laughs> so I'm gonna be drinking my tea and uh, as you all saw I put up my home tour this morning and a couple of you had mentioned that my voice sounded a little dim in places and that I have no idea what caused that I'm really sorry I don't know what in the world was going on with that I was using my iPhone I was doing the same things that I always do and I did not notice it on in the editing process or I will turn myself up if I notice that I'm real quiet so I apologize for that and I hope you guys could see what was going on and even if you couldn't hear me yammering along I hope you could see the house and enjoy the tour regardless but my apologies to you for that I'm very very sorry and I will try to keep a better eye on that for sure so uh, and then I just want to warn you right up front you're gonna have a video coming at you toward the end of the week here that uh, <laughs> that I did of my front porch. And uh, I explained everything that I do on my front porch, but Chris took the video of me and what I did not realize, the first five minutes of it, I said, I'm standing out on the front porch and I'm talking with you guys, but I'm looking like, like right now, I'm looking at myself. And I know when I'm sitting here and recording that I have to look this way, which is to the side to me. I'm not looking at myself when I'm looking at you guys. And I could not see myself when Chris was videotaping me, so I did not realize that I was not looking at you guys. I was looking like I'm looking to the side. But when in reality, I thought I was looking at you guys, but I was really looking, oh my goodness. I, would, I, uh, I look a sight in that, the beginning of that video. So I just wanted to warn you guys up front. <laughs> that I don't stand and look away from you guys for very long. I really can't stand that when people are doing YouTube and don't look you in the eyes. You know, I try to always try to look at you. Of course, I sway my vision and whatever and move around, but I try to lock eyes with you as much as I can, you know, and in the first five to seven minutes of that video, it drives me crazy. When I go to edit that, I may put at the beginning, please excuse me. I, Chris was taking the video and I couldn't see myself and couldn't see what I was doing and where I was looking. So uh, the tweaks of the tweaking that I continue to do with my YouTube, even though I've been on for a year now, over a year, I still am continuing to tweak with the volume and the, you know, my videoing and my editing and my voice uh, 
volume, like I said, and you know where to look and all that stuff. So, <laughs> but I wanted to warn you about that. But anyway, I wanted to come back to you today and just revisit. Uh, I went into Michael's this morning, and then we went to Cracker Barrel for lunch. So. I wanted to show you a couple things. I did pick up a couple of things from Cracker Barrel that I want to talk with you about. Uh, and, but first I wanted to show you, I went back into Michael's to buy some more of this ribbon because I ended up using this, this ribbon anyway on a funky bow that you will see in the next video. But it turned out really pretty, the funky bow that I made, and I'm going to use this ribbon uh, next week. I believe it'll be on my lantern that's going to sit out on the porch. You probably got you guys will probably see that video maybe Monday. Not sure where it'll end up in the queue, but I'm working on it and videoing everything that I'm doing. Uh, so I, like I said, I have this one that I need still need to edit, and this will be the next one you see. Then I have my front porch decor, and you guys will see that. And I made a mistake with the big wreath, and you'll see all about that. <laughs> I thought I needed to make one, when in fact I didn't. I already had it made, and I explain that in the next video. But I tweak that wreath, and I make a funky bow, and I fill up my wagon, and you know, you see all that come to fruition. And then, so that will probably take us through this week. And then next week, I'm going to um, do the lantern centerpiece. Have that one coming to you probably Monday. And then it might be a couple of days, unless I do a cartridge hat or something between now and then or something. I'm not sure exactly what's on my schedule. But I do have my girlfriends coming here on Wednesday. I am going to be making this deco mesh wreath. So, like I had mentioned, and I am going to be making it on a 16 inch a work wreath. Uh, I got this, as you all know, after Christmas for a very deep sale, like 90% off or something. But I am going to make it on just a 16 inch, and this will go on the front light post uh, that goes along the sidewalk out there. So I'm going to make it on that, and I had decided I'm going to use the red and white. I know at the beginning I was of this video I was kind of waffling back and forth, but I have decided I'm definitely going to use the, the red and white, and but I'm going to put this down first, and then I'm going to put this on top of it. So this will be like the base, and then this will go over the top of this. Two rows of each and then what I went back into Michael's for today I had that one little sign that says Hug hugs and kisses and I was like I really don't want to put that outside but I couldn't find anything that I wanted to use more other than love you to the moon so I thought that was cute and uh, so that will probably go on this wreath and then I bought three little like sparkly hearts they're cute Everything was 40% off, I believe. Uh, these were $5. So, and I bought three. So, that along with that little sign. And then a funky bow. I want to make a big funky bow for on it. And I'm going to use this ribbon and this. Probably just the two. Uh, unless I find something else between now and then. But I am not holding my breath because nobody, as I said at the beginning of this video, has... Ribbon, Valentine's Day ribbon, you know, not much to speak of. So that's what I'll be using. <laughs> and then I bought all their flowers are on sale too, all their spring flowers. These, I bought three of these. And I'm going to be sticking these in the funky bow at least. And I did buy a good bit of this ribbon. This is only uh, three yards of ribbon. Uh, but I do want to make, I'm going to be making the funky bow, but then I am going to make big tufts too of the two ribbon piled on top of one another you know, and have them maybe two, two of this and one of this or so I don't know, something, but I want to have them in every, uh, work, every chenille tie. So I don't know. I'm going to try to do that. I've never tried that before. So I thought I would try. So that's why I went in to get more ribbon. And that is all I got from Michael's. So then we uh, ran out to my P.O. box and got my three wonderful letters and then went to Cracker Barrel on our way home and we had our little lunch. I had my, I've been really trying this week, really good. Plus I've been wanting to be good because my stomach was like, Ugh. you know, so I had my little um, chicken tender loins, my grilled chicken tender loins and my green beans and a little tiny, little tiny side salad. 
and then I'll have, I might have a, a, you know what we've been finding on sale is that Progresso soup. Have you guys ever tried that? If you can find it on sale, I encourage you to at least try it. I, I love their, uh, let me run over here and get a couple of cans of it and I'll show you. Oh, except that Miss Gracie is under my feet again. Excuse this outfit too, you guys. You guys have seen this outfit about 50 times. I don't have a ton of winter clothes and I've not gone, I didn't want to go out and buy more cause I'm, you know, I just don't want to spend the money to do it. So I've been digging in my closet and stuff. So anyway, regardless, I know y'all are sick of seeing this outfit. I have a different necklace on. And it, Chris got me this necklace uh, years and years ago from Denali. Princess Denali Lodge when we were on a, a land tour in, uh, in Alaska and it is, I don't know, it has a purple stone on it. And this was a rock that was indig that is indigenous to uh, Alaska. And it's pretty, it's green. Anyway, back to the soup, I digress. I am all over the place, bing, bang, boom. I'm a mess today. <laughs> so, uh, but I wanted to show you some of this. And this stuff is, you know, it's not a lot of uh, calories in this stuff. This is two servings. Each serving is 110 calories for chicken noodle. And it's tasty, this, is, this tastes good. And I make my own homemade chicken noodle and this is pretty close to it. I don't put carrots in my chicken noodle. But this is really good, so that's one of my favorites. And minestrone, I haven't tried their minestrone yet, but I like minestrone soup. It's only 100 calories per serving, so 200 calories. And this is a big can of soup. This gets one of my big Fiesta Wear bowls, it's, it fills that up. Two servings, 200 calories. You can't, you can't beat that. Then I've got slow cooked vegetable. And this is, Kristen, this is one of her favorites. This is 120 calories. And she said this is really good. It's kind of a tomatoey based. I make a vegetable soup that's, uh, that my mother-in-law actually makes. And that Chris, that's her, her favorite soup. And she said this tastes just like it, so that and then my favorite this is my favorite and I sometimes can't pull myself away from this to try something different because I love this one and this is 120 calories per serving steak and roasted russet potatoes oh my lands talk about I am a steak and potato kind of girl <laughs> and this is really really tasty so anyway I will probably have a can of soup tonight or a small salad, I don't know. Depends on how my stomach is doing. <laughs> I may have soup though. But it's getting better so I can't complain too much. But there are a couple things uh, that I did purchase from Cracker Barrel that I wanted to bring to you. Uh, one is Be Still and Know. Psalm 40, I take my glasses off. I tell you, once you put your, I don't know whether you guys find this, but once you start wearing your glasses in a day, forget it, you're blind for the rest of the day, that's me. Psalm 4610. So I thought that was really cute. And I bought it specifically to put in this little three-tiered uh, stand that I have. I can't fit it in there right now because I've got some, as you saw, some little Valentine's Day stuff in there. But I figured that would be a nice little switch out for that. So of course I'm now I'm on the look for all these little little tchotchke things. So I got that and then they had some Chesapeake Bay candles on sale. I don't know whether you guys have ever smelled these, but oh my goodness, I haven't lit, um, lit it yet, which I'm going to. Oh my goodness, it smells good. This is cypress and oak, and when it was on sale for 50% off, so this thing cost me like $10. And I'm all about good smells. And I'll tell you, in, this, in my other house, I used to have a, uh, like a, I used to buy tarts, Yankee Candle tarts, and I used to melt them in like a tart warmer kind of thing, and it would make that house smell so good. Well, I said, oh, I'll get that new house smell out of the house, you know. I, I like things to smell really good, like clean and cinnamony or homey, and you know, I, I really like the house to smell good. Well, I got in here and put a tart in, and, and, the, and it, you can't smell it. You can smell a candle when it's burning here in the kitchen because the ceilings are high, but they don't dissipate all over the place. You put something in that family room, forget about it. It, it dissipates. I guess if you were upstairs, which I'm not ever, <laughs> you could smell it. But 
so you can't smell a candle burning in there or like a tart melt. So I'm, go I'm gonna use this for my kitchen here and I'm actually gonna light it. It smells really good pretty soon here. Boy, it smells good. But I also bought some lemon 100% pure essential oil. And the last time I was at Stacy's house, uh, my other cousin, Vicki, hi Vic, if you're watching, love you. Love you, Stace. Love you, Joyce. Love you, Donita. Love you, all you girls. <laughs> Corey, you too. <laughs> all my cousins. Oh my goodness. And uh, Vicki had encouraged me to, that she got a diffuser and she really likes the different essential oils. Well, I went ahead and she gave me a link and I went ahead and bought this and I will give you a link in the description for this. Uh, it changes colors or you can get it to stay in one color but you can see that it's changing colors let me hold it up here it's changing colors and then you put your different oils well the first oil i bought for it i did not like i was like oh, i don't like that i really like fresh scents or warm scents if that makes sense like cinnamon and cloves and warm scents uh vanilla i like vanilla so and I like fresh scents. So I saw this in there today, and I've been looking at different places, and I don't wanna buy them offline because I, I want them to, you know, I wanna be able to like the smell. So I did buy some lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three drops in this thing. It says, uh, I already have water in it, and I've had it plugged in. And you know, I don't know whether this works. Vicki swears by it. She says it makes her feel better. So I don't know. Uh, she said, a uh, but it says a cleansing zesty aroma diffused it to boost focus and energy and to freshen the air. Like I need more energy, you guys. <laughs> Actually, I do now. I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired after all the decorating that's been going on since what? Uh, the end of August. I have been decorating nonstop, nonstop from August through, except we went on our cruise for two weeks and then forget it I've been decorating forever so but anyway this is supposed to give you some energy I don't know it says enjoy it in a diffuser by adding three you can put it in a, a spray bottle and just spray it into the air like you would Lysol or it says enjoy in a diffuser by adding three to five drops per 100 milliliters of water so I'm gonna try it I do not swear by this stuff I am not I'm getting paid to do this I don't get paid to do anything you guys but this is just for my own enjoyment and I thought I would share it with you guys and please don't hold me to anything y'all might hate the smell of this lemon uh, you know disclaimer 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 I do not recommend this I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna try and to see if I could get some one two three four five it says five to get some um, fresh smells into this house you know when everything's closed up in the winter time and it gets kind of you know food smelly you know whatever you cook the night before you can smell so but you can see this has a max and then a drain side so you're not supposed to fill it up past the max line can you see max line and then you're supposed to pour it out if you have anything left from that side and then let me put the lid on it the lid just pops on and kind of just pops into place and then you can change the light color and then you can turn it on mist and the mist starts coming out and it smells really good and then you can change the color by pushing that button and I think there is one you can push that uh, We'll ha let it go through all the different colors. I like that. I love that purple. That's pretty. Woo, it smells lemony. Ah, that's pretty blue. I think I'll leave it there. Anyway, I thought you guys might like to see that. I don't know. As I said, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I don't know about this stuff. I don't know if it really does make you feel better. I can imagine a happy smell would make you feel happy, huh? I don't really know, but... I'm going to try it. Why not? Uh, and then there's one thing, one other thing. I don't know if you guys are readers. I'm not a big, I used to be an avid reader, but I am so stinking busy, you guys, doing my YouTube stuff, editing. I hardly ever, as you know, I was saying how much trouble I have just getting my TV shows that I like 
Watch. This is <laughs> coming right in my face here. <sighs> there we go. But I'm point it out to the family room. Uh, but as I told you guys the other day, we are going on another Alaska cruise in the Alaska cruise season. And uh, one of the girls in the Alaska group that I admin with the other lady, one of the girls in there actually had posted, thank you, Sandy, for this post, by the way, uh, said that this guy, Michael, I'm going to butcher his name, Mo Modzaweski, Mos hmm. Modzaweski, I think, wrote this book. And on all Princess Cruise Line uh, ships in Alaska, they have a naturalist on board. And this guy is going to be our naturalist. And I actually bought a uh, autographed copy. I didn't even know I did it from Amazon. But I think I'm going to take this with me and be a geek and have him, you know, autograph it again for me. But uh, they say he is an awesome naturalist. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but... If you're interested in Alaska and in the Inside Passage, if any of you have done cruises or anything up there, I have not read this yet, so I'll let you know. Uh, but it looks like a really good book, so I did get it off of Amazon at the, uh, you know, uh, suggestion of another one of the ladies. So I'm going to be reading a book here sometime, maybe on a plane ride when I can't get on a computer. Or maybe if I just make myself sit down and read a book. <laughs> Wouldn't that be novel, huh? To read a novel, it would be novel. <laughs> it's been so long since I read anything. Honest to goodness, it has been. Uh, anyway, but that's it. The Inside Passage, Living with Killer Whales, Bald Eagles, and Kowakio Indians. They say this guy is awesome, so I don't know. I'll let you know. All right. Well, that really is it for this one this time. And I hope all is well with everyone and that no one has anything that they're anxious about or worried about. I hope that everybody's health is, is going along as it should. And keep bringing you as much as I can. It's hard when I'm not decorating within a series, even though I have like this wreath to do and I have the lantern centerpiece to do, your lantern for the front porch to do. Uh, those will be next week, but you know, I have those two crafts and then after that, I'm kind of out of crafts, you know, so I will continue to do car chats and store halls and that kind of thing and the occasional wreath and the occasional, you know, uh, craft, I'm sure, but you know, we're going to keep on keeping on, folks. We're going to just, I'll bring you along whenever I do my stuff. And y'all are always welcome <laughs> to come along. So, and I thank you for coming along. Let me take a moment to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm up over, way up over, I don't know what I'll be by the time you guys see this. I don't, I was up over 7.6K this morning so I don't know this is as I said Tuesday morning I don't know what I'll be you know by the time you see this or by this weekend I really and truly just don't, do not know so but I appreciate every single one of you keep the letters and cards coming to the P.O. box thank you so much I probably am not gonna have time to correspond with you that way but please know that I love them please know too that if I don't get a chance to uh, comment back on my videos that I try my best and do my best know if I you see that heart show up but don't see a comment follow it know that I've read it and I love it and I appreciate it please 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 but anyway I'm yammering on what's new so I'm gonna close this one out again and uh, just say until next time y'all take good good care bye bye